What is up everyone, it is Andrew Peer here of b AT Production and Publishing bringing you guys a new YouTube video. In this YouTube video I'm going to bring you guys a quick tip video. I'm going to show you guys how um, I've been mixing my kicks lately. Obviously this will probably not be the case for every beat you do or and such because not every way that you mix will be the same for every beat. However. Um, this is kind of like the process and steps I've been taking lately. So this is a beat that's actually uploaded on um, my website uh, called Geekin. It's a Kodak Black type beat and such. I'm going to play a little snippet of it real quick. Now you can kind of hear where that kick hits in and it hits pretty hard. Now we got a lot of things on our master and that's not really the point of this. I'm not trying to show you the master. So I'm going to turn everything off now and play it. But we can still hear the main point of the kick in 808. Like you can hear how hard that kick hits and with that 808. So lately I've been kind of uh, making the kick be the initial hit and then like the 808 being like the background it's kind of like how you're supp supposed to be i know that kind of sounds that doesn't probably make the most sense but i want my kick to hit and have that 808 a little bit under in like like an undertone and we can see we can see that the kick is higher than the 808 Now one little trick I've been doing this, there's gonna be, we're gonna cover two things. Actually, I don't even wanna say, cause we're probably just gonna cover a couple different things. We're gonna try to do this quick. Now, I'm gonna just have our kick in 808 on, as well as, what do we got? All right, I just wanna, be able to have some sound in there so if we look into our kick and all these drums including the 808 and such are in the b to at drum kit so um or they're in numerous a lot of these sounds are in different uh drum kits which can be accessed at b to at.com go to the drum kits page um so if we're looking at this kick i got an eq now i would probably want to um pull this high pass uh, the low pass even a little bit more down because I don't want so much upper harmonics but if we could see there's like this little nudge within the 170 uh, 173 Hertz and it's kind of like a little bump and it kind of gives you that thud and if we were to Here's what everything sounds like without the kicks sound without all this. And I'm going to turn off the 808 stuff. I'm going to keep the side chain on. See how weak that is? The kick is under the 808. Sounds nasty. Like I don't like it at all. So if we pull up that EQ, it's a little bit better get that little boost. I'm not focusing on the low end. I'm focusing more on that bass range that almost to the low mid section. And that's kind of like the point of the kick. The kick is supposed to bring that boom, that thump. Now, this has been the most I, I honestly I can't believe I'm actually really showing you guys this because this has honestly been a plugin that I've been using for almost all my kicks lately and it's honestly probably not the best that I'm using it almost always but man this makes the kick sound insane in my opinion um, if we pull up Kramer tape and uh, this is 
by waves so I apologize that um, that some of you may not have this plugin but it's a uh, Kramer master tape if we open up load and we go down to drums there's this option called kick in your face and this thing is a kick in your face I'll tell you that here we'll play it that's with it without it without it with it here with. it's like a very subtle difference but when it's added together with that low end kick I mean with that uh, 808 which is side chained the kick is side chained over to the 808 we're gonna pull up the 808 we're gonna do that EQ to clean it up I got a little compressor on the 808 got that a fast ah, a fast distortion to kind of add some texture to upper harmonics here's a kind of what the side chain is looking like We can even pull that up a little bit. Now that sounds a whole lot more thick. Um, now, the reason why I might sound still a little weak is I don't have everything on a master. If we were to turn everything on the master, then. That sounds way powerful. Like, but in a good way, in my opinion. I like it. It definitely hits you. But um, the mastering kind of brings it all together. And that's not so much the important part. The important part was pretty much just to show you guys a quick little tip on how to mix your kick to get that thump, that powerful thump. And it's to focus in, um, in that bass range, that low mid. Because that's where you're gonna get more of uh, the upper harmonic sounds that's gonna give you that thump the low bass is gonna be the low bass like that um, you know where the 808 is gonna be hitting I'll show you you see and I'm focusing on that boost in that 808 at a little bit below it and that's to allow room I'm trying to allow room in that mix. This isn't probably the best mix either. This was a quick beat, real quick, tossed it up, you know. But um, it definitely has that thump and that power to it. So, um, and then obviously when you toss the mix, the master on and everything, then it sounds nuts. So if we were to listen to it with everything... So that's kind of like what it sounds like. It sounds pretty wild. I like it. Um, I've started picking up doing. Here, I'm gonna teach you guys. Uh, none of that information. I was just gonna say is important. What's important is to show you guys what you can do if you don't have Kramer tape. Um, originally, I wasn't gonna show you guys this, but might as well. We're only eight minutes in. Um, so if we go up, if we pull up Maximus. So that's what it sounds like with Kramer tape. So we're gonna pull up Maximus. And one thing I like to do, pull up the bands. I automatically want to pull down that high pass. I don't really need it. You know why I don't need it? Because it will. And what I'm doing right here, and I don't need a high pass, that high end because I'm not really focusing on that. I'm focusing on the mid where we came up here. It's like the 173 uh, to 200 Hertz. That's what we're focusing on. So like within this range. So, I'm gonna, so if we go up the mid, if you do that right click that's how I'm creating these dots. Right click, you can drag it out. And maybe a little boost down here. 
tad a little. Thump your mat low. You don't want to do too much now because um, we got that 808. Now if we go to the master now. Now sounds pretty powerful. Now if we pull up this 808. So this is without the Kramer tape and just Maximus and uh, uh, la 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 EQ, the parametric EQ. So if we were to right click everything. It sounds nearly identical and you still get that really loud thumping kick. Nothing too over the top. And we could probably tune down that 808 a little bit, but this should hopefully teach you guys how to get that nice sounding thump kick that you hear in industry rap beats. It's just a quick tip. Hopefully this guy um, has helped you. If it did, subscribe, like, comment, share. You know, if you have buddies that are trying to make beats, share this with your buddies. And if you guys want to get beats, drum kits, and more, go to beatat.com. Um, we just updated the whole entire beats page, uploading new beats and doing a whole bunch of stuff on there. It's looking really dope. Um, look forward to hear you guys' opinions, thoughts, comments, and such. So yeah, this is Andrew Peer here of Beta AT Production and Publishing, and I'll see you guys later.